Welcome to this video. I'm Charlie from Conscious Creation. And in this video, I would like to share with you what the mirror technique is and how to apply it in your life so you can quicken your manifestations. This mirror technique comes from the book called The Magic of Believing by Cloud Bristol. And it talks about that we only manifest what we believe to be true. So whatever you believe to be true will always become manifest for you. So I'm going to share with you how this mirror technique works. But first, you need to get very specific on what it is that you want to manifest in your life. For example, if you want more abundance, how much abundance do you want? How much money do you want to earn each month? If you want a relationship, what type of relationship do you want to manifest into your life? If you want a new lifestyle, what kind of lifestyle would make you happy? What would you be doing if you were living your ideal life? Now, what you need to do is you need to stand in front of a mirror and have a good posture and put your shoulders back. You're then going to breathe deeply a couple of times and then you're going to look into the mirror and then you're going to look into your eyes because it's been said that your eyes are the seat of the soul and you're going to look into your eyes and you're going to create what is known as an amalgam. This is a phrase in which you are going to speak to yourself so it could be the universe always takes care of me or everything is happening best case scenario let's say you've just started a business you could say i'm happy and i'm in demand i'm fully booked or let's say you want that relationship i am in a loving and caring relationship now it's really important to do it in present tense because when it comes to manifesting everything happens in the now moment so you must do it from the now moment but also we want to look a bit deeper under those emotions because when it comes to manifesting we often don't attract what we want because we don't think we're worthy and so what we can do is we can start putting some new phrases when we are talking to ourselves in the mirror, such as I am worthy. I am good enough. This is a big one for a lot of people. People don't think they are worthy and they are good enough to have what they want. And trust me, you are. Now, when it comes to this amalgam and these phrases that you are speaking to yourself is you want to make sure that these words resonate with you. So you want to get a pen and a piece of paper and write down these phrases that resonate with you, that give you a sense of emotion, because the key with all of this is the feeling. It's the feeling that starts to penetrate your subconscious mind, which has a huge effect on your reality. Now, most people's identity or belief system has been created due to the things that have happened to you in the process of growing up. Events, situations, people telling you things, maybe someone called you stupid and that had an emotional reaction to you and that planted itself within your subconscious mind. And this all has an effect on your reality. So what we're doing is we are doing the same, except we are doing it to ourselves in front of a mirror. So again, we are going to look in front of that mirror and we are going to do that phrase over and over. You can do it first thing in the morning and say to yourself what you want in the present tense and tell yourself you are good enough and you are worthy to receive it. Because when it comes to manifesting, the key is to convince yourself of the truth and the truth only. And that is you can have whatever you desire. So I hope this information has helped you. Thank you for watching. Peace and take care.